Hello everyone, my name is Joey Martinez. I am the Pre-Columbian Gentleman. Welcome to my first YouTube. Um, today is just a quick introduction to tell you uh, a little bit about myself and what we're all about. We just launched our uh, online gallery, theprecolumbiangentleman.com, or there's a quick link, pcjoey.com, and we're excited to share these great pieces along with uh, dozens of other um, awesome pieces that are available for immediate acquisition. Um, I, like you, share a passion uh, for pre-Columbian art. Actually, anything ancient and old is just uh, amazing to me. And uh, after about 10 years of collecting, I decided to kind of branch out and do my own thing. Uh, I not only enjoy helping experienced collectors add to their collection, but uh, it's really uh, rewarding to help new collectors uh, begin the hobby, begin a lifelong passion, and uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, so these pieces are actually all available right now on the uh, page. Uh, I'll just start off over here on the uh, right. Um, so this piece is actually a, it's a stucco head from the uh, Maya culture, about 550 AD to 850 AD. Uh, it's an ex-Sotheby's piece, uh, which is also very awesome for the provenance. And uh, it's very large and imposing. It's about 14 inches tall. Great pigment. And what makes this really unique is not only the sculptural quality, but also uh, the paint and color that's still on it. It has a lot of red pigment, obviously. Uh, there's some uh, green and some yellow still on here. So it's a very uh, uh, rare piece and it's also very, uh, I think it's kind of a regal noble piece in terms of how it looks. And uh, it's just really cool. So um, going forward, I'm gonna have uh, different YouTubes that are gonna go, go into the pieces more in depth. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go to the next piece, which is a uh, Mescala ear spool from about uh, 700 BC to uh, 100 BC. Uh, it's beautiful green speckled stone, and uh, you can see it's uh, quite uh, quite large. Uh, the next piece is a uh, Maya whistle from the uh, Haina Island. Uh, these originated in Campeche, Mexico, and were put into elaborate burials. Uh, this is an old monkey god, it's really cool, and the whistle still functions perfectly. Uh, lots of the original quote-unquote Maya blue is still on here, and uh, it's a really awesome uh, collector's piece. Uh, the next piece is a uh, Platico dancing figure. He's wearing a mask. Um, pretty uh, outstanding. Uh, it's about four and a half inches tall. Uh, 1100 BC to about 700 BC, so this is a very early piece. Comes with this uh, custom stand, and uh, it's really uh, quite cool. The next piece is a uh, very... They call these uh, Kalima dogs. Um, a lot of people know about these just because uh, uh, there are museums all over the world. Um, this piece came from the Dr. Harner collection from about 1950s to 60s. Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, it has a small restored chip, otherwise it's perfect. I mean, it's just uh, heavily burnished. The shine is still there. It's a two-tone redware. And uh, it's one of my favorite pieces in the collection. Um, available for immediate acquisition. Very cool. Uh, the uh, last piece I'm going to show you today is a, a Nayarit female figure. A uh, really nice uh, paint. Uh, it's just a cool piece. Uh, what makes this uh, such an awesome piece, really, is that it belonged to the famous actor Anthony Quinn and uh, was part of his personal collection. And it's just a really cool, neat piece. Um, actually, it's published in his book. Um, I didn't know that Anthony Quinn was actually not only a collector, but was a national artist himself. So uh, this piece will come with the book where this uh, piece is published in. Um, this is actually kind of a cool promotional book uh, made out to uh, Elliot Gould and uh, signed by his wife, Catherine Quinn, who was a uh, co-author on the book. So I was really excited when I found this. And then uh, we go to page 36. And then right here, you can actually see the piece in his uh, bookshelf. So uh, this book will accompany the piece, and uh, basically it's direct proof to the provenance that Anthony Quinn did own this piece right here. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to my first YouTube. Uh, going forward, we'll talk more about just different pieces, and uh, I want to make this kind of fun, educational, and uh, instructional. And uh, so like I said, we're going to cater to the existing uh, people that have been collecting for years and years, but also uh, make it very educational for newer collectors to tell you about the cultures, uh, the pieces, the meanings behind them. And uh, I don't know, just have lots of fun. So anyway, thank you so much. You can find all these great pieces at thepreclumbiangentleman.com. There's a quick link, pcjoey.com. I'll get to the same page. Um, also, please follow uh, my YouTube, but we have a TikTok. Uh, we have a Facebook page and we have an Instagram page. Uh, Facebook and Instagram pages are gonna have specials from now on, uh, every now and then. 
Um, and those are all thepreclinicalgentleman.com. So anyway, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any feedback or uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always available. All the links are um, available as well. And uh, thank you so much for uh, watching.